God, he's so good. He's so good. And he, he, you know, people take different approaches. They talk smack, get fights. You know, there's a whole different ways to do it. He's so respectful. So respectful. And so nice. Yes. And it's like, I mean, whatever, I guess it's different for everybody, but man, he's got something that's working right now. And it, he's hard not to root for. Yeah. Then he gets rocked. Yeah. He gets rocked twice by Gaethje, who's got, you know, hands of stone. Mm -hmm and still comes back and wins. Well, here's what's interesting about Charles Oliveira. When Charles Oliveira fights, even though he's the champion, he fights like, like a berserker. He fights, he puts himself in danger. Like he doesn't fight safe. He doesn't fight to try to outpoint you. He doesn't fight tactically, like where he's trying to get, you know, the, the least amount of damage and, you know, and, and drag you into deep water and then and then strategically try to take you out yeah. the fourth and fifth round. No. From the moment the first bell rings, he's coming at you. Engaging, Guns yeah. blazing. Yeah. And yeah. Gaethje was coming at him, too. But it's like Gaethje was overwhelmed by Oliveira's pace and his aggression. It's why, and even when Gaethje cracked him. Oliver is so different than anybody else. When he gets hit, he just lays on his back. Yeah. And he's like, come get some of this. And nobody wants that he guard game. He gets a break. So he's he, got the most submissions in the history of the sport. He recovers. Yes, so he, because nobody wants to go to the ground Right. With him. Normally, guys would just come bombing in. No, you don't want that ground game. Yeah. His ground game is so elite. It's so good. Anyone compete in MMA that closes the show like Oliveira when the fight goes to the ground. It His shit is razor sharp. Look at some of the One. losses that Oliveira had. You can't look at those. You got to look at the wins. You got to look at who he is now. Don't look at who he is five years ago or six years ago. Look who he is right now. Is that the last time he lost? I don't think it's that long ago. He had a fight with Feld. So Oliveira's got his leg here. He came really close to a leg lock, but Felder can grapple. And he's also very strong and very big for the weight class. So Felder eventually wound up on top and Felder beat the fuck of him on top. Look at these nasty smashing elbows from the guard. Felder's his last loss, so that was 2017. But who he is right now, though, right now that guy is the fucking man. That's who he is. I'm That's fight like Khabib. And I was like, oh, Islam Makachev? Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> and I yeah. was like wondering like if a guy would hold me down like that, like the whole fight wouldn't be able to do anything, what would I do? Dude, that dude's a bad man. Yeah. yeah. Islam's, he's he's for real. That, that grappling is serious. Because there's no... Yeah. Question. Yeah. He he's I mean, he's on a 10 fight win streak yeah. as it is. And he looks like a monster. I mean, it seems like for Makachev, he's he's looked so good. The way, I mean, the way he looked against Drew Dober, the way he looked against Dan Hooker, I mean, he's a fucking killer, man. I talked myself into thinking that Bobby Green was going to have a real shot in that fight. I thought, oh, you look at the, uh, the, the wrestling that Bobby's got. You know, he's going to come into this one with no pressure. He's got nothing to lose. Everybody's already kissing his ass. Wow, mm. what a warrior stepping up last minute. Mm. He can bomb. had just gotten off of uh, the fight at Hasperat, and he, he fought a tough fight, goes the full distance, three rounds. And then right after that, it's like a short amount of time later, you know, he gets 10 days notice to fight Makachev, and I think he was like 190-something yeah. before he began the cut. Well, the thing is, I mean, what was so impressive about Makachev was because, you know, you're up against the fence, you're fighting for underhooks and all the rest of it, and that typically becomes a little bit of a stalemate there. But when he level changed from having an underhook, level changed to the legs, people try and do that, but normally people some people get an underhook in, yeah. and that's it, you can't get it. But the speed yep. of what Islam did it in was just, it was like lightning. Like it was lightning. almost, it was just, boom. His and he had his hands together too. It's him and Khabib are scary that way. Because after that fight, I went back and watched like all his, all his highlights. There's a predator like mm -hmm. like precision. Way. As soon as you give him an opening, yes, it's it's a. We, we you know we tried to make that other the the, the Darius fight broke his ankle. Um, you know that that fight makes sense in Abu Dhabi. Everybody wanted to do it. I think everybody wanted to see it. So here we are. Obviously, he's not officially champion, but will Charles still get the pay per view points? We worked that out. Yeah. Yet? Yeah, I think he does. Yeah. I mean, he's the champ, but one of those things. Technically, he's not the champ. You 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 watch how that motherfucker attacks people. He's, there's a reckless abandon to his his calculated wildness. That is, uh, it's terrifying. He's something special, and he's better all the time. He's a man with a plan, right? He's trying to be the UFC lightweight champion. 
so he's probably not getting two out of sh yeah he's got a real good shot but uh, but Oliveira is so technical man he's like he's so beautiful the way he moves man everything he does is perfect like his jujitsu is perfect his striking is perfect yeah but oh he's like a flamingo he's like yeah. that violent flamingo. flamingo to me in a way you know when I see him he's more of a uh, it has almost a ballet to it and I, I don't mean that yeah. in like a negative term that guy's a real tough and talented man I know but. what you're saying it's just beautiful yeah yeah yeah, he's very technical. Like his his everything he throws, it's like his punches, his kicks, even his submissions, it's all perfect technique. Yeah. He's one of the most interesting guys to watch for me because uh you know, he never is out of position. He never like winds up like wild and throws like big crazy shit. Yeah. You know, everything is like straight down the pipe, everything is perfect position. Like if you were gonna study a, a striker or even a grappler, or you just wanna study someone's technique, Oliveira is a great guy to study about red zone and i agree with him you cannot give you cannot go to the uh, charles Oliveira red zone this guy is real finisher he's very dangerous but charles is very very dangerous opponent and you know it's like right now he's real champion and because we have nine wins stick you know he beat tony ferguson he finished eight guys you know and um, and it's it's very interesting fight for me I, I think we uh, we saw an, a new wrinkle to Oliveira as well. Before, if he was down, he couldn't he 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 just couldn't rally himself back into the fight. This fight, he was down, almost finished in the first, came back. So he's showing he's a true world, he's a true champion. And this guy has I'm gonna jump on you know he paid his dues. No, yeah. listen, they want to take it to Abu Dhabi. First off, I'm not crazy about the judging in Abu Dhabi. I'm not. I think that it favors. Islam Makhlchev. I've even got some evidence of it. He said, and why should Charles, the champion, have to go into enemy territory for a defense? He's the champion. Come to Brazil and fight us. Now, that isn't how this sport works. That, that's not how Dana, you, you, you can't get all the, don't think you have to tell me these things. I like the point. I accepted it. about Charles Oliveira. I love the fact that he's a jiu-jitsu black belt and his jiu-jitsu is unorthodox. I love all that. Yeah, but dude, I'm really impressed. Me with too. Oliveira, Oliveira don't give a fuck. But it's just the technique. It's not that he, he doesn't give a fuck. He definitely doesn't. He comes doesn't. forward. But it's just, also his technique. Is, his technique's super sharp. Look at that look uphercut. At look at there's that no, shit. There's Boom. no fat to any of this. But look yeah. at him stay in the pocket, yeah. too, mm -hmm. and read it. and yes. it, It's so good. Look at that Jeez, front look at kick that up the shit. middle to the Come chin. On, no telegraphing. It just comes Damn. back. Exactly, Eddie. Back. Oliveira for the title. And just, you know, the hard style to figure out. He's just so good, man. Everything's so good with that guy.